I'm Grace. So let's get started. I'm a recipe blogger, family taught home chef. Cheers. Cheers. iPhone only photographer and proud New Englander. A base for soups, stews, sauces, rice, grains, braised meats and veggies. The uses for homemade chicken broth go on and on. Making homemade chicken broth is just set it and forget it. You just need a big pot and a big chicken and a bunch of vegetables and you're just gonna throw everything in there and let it cook for a couple hours. It's really easy to make. I love making it. So as I said, we're gonna start off with our largest pot you have in your entire kitchen. And you're gonna buy a whole chicken and just put it right in the pot. Super easy. And then to it, you're gonna add a bunch of veggies and the veggies are gonna flavor your chicken broth. So you can really do whatever veggies you like, but this is kind of the classic. So I have some celery sticks and you don't need to be really precise, precise, I just said precise, <laughs> with it. You're just going to take your celery, throw it right in the pot on top of your chicken. And then I have some carrots and the carrots are just gonna add a touch of sweetness to your chicken broth. And again, you're just gonna dice them up or chop them up and throw them in. Next step is a real crier. Even just peeling the onions. I was crying earlier. <laughs> so I peeled some yellow onions and now I'm just gonna cut them in half. Just to release some of those juices and throw those in there too. And what else? We have carrots, celery, onion, and you probably guessed, garlic. I have three garlic cloves and I'm just gonna give them a nice whack. Just like this with my knife, they're peeled and this is gonna release the flavor of the garlic. Just add them right in there. Then we're on to herbs. You can use whatever herbies you like. I like thyme. Just have a few little pieces of thyme, little sprigs and I'm gonna throw them in there. It makes it look really nice and pretty too. And peppercorns. This is the key to really flavorful chicken broth. I'm telling you, just a sprinkle goes a long way. It's just gonna add a nice, not pepperiness, but just like an herbaceousness to your broth. And finally, the classic. Some bay leaves, and if you just give your bay leaves a little whiff, it smells like soup. So you know that these are the key to good chicken broth. Add a couple in there. This is the mug that I drink out of every morning. Oh, 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 oh. Next up, we have water. Of course you need water to make chicken broth. And I was gonna try to pour this all into this pot here, but I decided it's very hard to pick up. So I'm going to take a little measuring cup here and I'm gonna pour the water right over your chicken. You need about 12 to 16 cups. I use about 14. It really just depends on how big your pot is. You wanna make sure the water is about two inches above your chicken. Top goes on, and now it's time to simmer this baby for two hours. Time to crank the heat up. Turn my heat on, medium high heat. We're gonna bring the water to a simmer. Once it starts simmering, you're gonna turn it down to medium low heat and keep it simmering for about two hours. You're gonna check on it about halfway through. Just make sure everything looks good. But otherwise, set it and forget it. A watched pot never simmers. Thanks for watching it. As soon as it simmers like this, Recover, put it down to medium low heat. Keep it at a very nice gentle simmer for about two hours. We'll check on it in about an hour. What a pot of love. Mm, it smells so good in here. It's been two hours and that means our chicken's done. So what we need to do is we're gonna take some tongs and we're just gonna remove all of our vegetables and put them on a plate or a bowl or just really get them out of the way. You can use them for something else. Next up, we're getting the chicken out. There's no easy way to do this. It'll kind of fall apart on you, but that's okay. We're just gonna put it on a plate in pieces. 
You would be nuts to not eat this chicken for dinner. That's what I'm gonna be doing. It's so moist and juicy and delicious, flavorful. So I'm gonna set that aside for dinner. Last step is to add some salt. And you know, chicken broth usually has a good amount of salt in it. You can use however much salt you like, but you just wanna stir it in while it's hot. We've removed almost everything from our broth, but there's gonna be some residual stuff in the bottom of your broth. So you need a sieve, a very large sieve, or you can use a cheesecloth to strain everything out of your broth to make it silky smooth. So I'm gonna take some hot pads and be careful. You're gonna pour the broth through the sieve into a very big bowl. I'm on my tippy toes. There you go, there's some extra stuff that you wouldn't have gotten out if you didn't do this step. Now I'm just gonna let this cool for about mm, an hour and a half or so, just at room temperature, before I put it in the fridge to cool completely. But you know me, I'm not going to walk away from this without trying it. And honestly, it's just so good on its own. You don't need to make this into anything. Just have it as broth. Mm. I know my husband's gonna be taking this whole bowl and drinking the whole thing. <laughs> it's that good. So much better than store-bought. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it.